beautiful winter day out here. Today, we are testing the XP-22 Scorpion weapon mounted light. And uh, it's got 400 lumens. Let's see how it handles the recoil of the AR-9. Seems to work. Welcome back to Sawtooth Tactical. As you can probably tell from the intro range footage, today we're doing a product spotlight on this. The Brynite XP-22 Scorpion dual-headed weapon-mounted light. And I'm actually very impressed with this light. This was sent to me for free from the US Amazon store. I will leave a link down below with a promo code for that. But we're gonna go over all the features. I'm gonna show you guys how bright this is. Put about 100 rounds through the gun with it on it, and it held up very well to the recoil. And uh, honestly, I'm usually fairly skeptical when I get things like this sent to me, but I'm, I'm actually very impressed with this. It's a very decent weapon mounted light. So before we get started, make sure you subscribe to Sawtooth Tactical, hit that bell notification, and let's check out this tactical light. Obviously it's daytime. I'll show you guys the uh, the amount of light that it puts out um, back at the studio, but gotta test it under recoil and see uh, if that if it keeps working, right? Still working. So, this company reached out to me in an email. They wanted to send me this light for testing and evaluation and to do a video such as this. And so that's what we're doing today. As you've seen, I've been using it on my AR-9, my Aero Precision EPC-9 build. Now, the reason for that, well, one of the reasons is that I already have lights on all of my other AR-15 platforms. And I believe in weapon mounted lights on anything that you might use in a defensive scenario. And my 9mm AR was lacking a light. So it was kind of perfect to test it on that platform. The other reason being this. Direct blowback pistol caliber carbines are specifically known to have a very violent recoil impulse compared to something like a 5.56 AR with a locking bolt, direct blowback has a much quicker, much more violent recoil impulse. So I felt like it was an appropriate platform to test something like this on if it can stand up to the recoil of the direct blowback AR9. Well, then that tells me a lot, as I'm sure it'll tell you a lot. So let's go down close real quick. We're gonna unbox this thing. I'm gonna show you guys the different features about it. And then we'll show you guys how bright it is and see if it's something that you want to purchase. Again, like I said, I will have a promo code in the description. So let's check it out. So I thought the uh, Aero Precision EPC-9 that I built would be a great platform to test a light like this on, being that an AR-9 actually recoils almost more than a 5.56 due to the uh, direct blowback um, operating system versus, you know, something where the recoil is, I don't know, lessened <laughs> by the operating system. Um, so yeah, we're out here testing it today. Still working. So here we see the packaging for the XP-22 Scorpion. Now I have to admit, when I first received this in the mail, I was, uh, I was a little bit surprised by the design of it. I've never seen a dual head weapon mounted light before. And I didn't really know what to expect. But let's take a look at this thing. It's definitely a very interesting design choice. So as you see here, two heads. 
They are a little dirty because I ran it on my AR9. I put it as far forward as possible because that's how I like to mount my lights. And also, right next to the muzzle brake, definitely can tell if it will stand up to that concussion and recoil. As you see, it still works great. So this is the button it used to activate it. It either has a constant on or a momentary if you hold it. And there is also a strobe feature and a lockout feature that you can use. So also within this packaging here, when I first got it, I was looking for batteries um, because it actually sat at my post office for a couple weeks before I received it uh, because my local post office is understaffed and having a hard time. But it doesn't have removable batteries. What it has is this magnetic charging port and just sits on like that. I charged it for a day and the thing worked great. Um, so this charger obviously plugs into a USB. Works fantastic, it charged the thing up and it works great. So the features of this, it has a 400 lumen max beam, which 400 lumens is very respectable. It's, uh, it's priced about the same as a Streamlight. And it's actually, so it's a, it's a very high quality light. Um, 400 lumens up to 140 meter throw is what they say. It does have a very easy to operate tail switch on here. I tried it on either side of my gun and then I decided to mount it on top and I'll show you guys why. It is just more ergonomic and easy to actuate on the very top Picatinny rail. Um, it does have, like I said, that strobe mode. It also has instant on and it does have a lockout feature if you want to actuate that. It's got a battery charge indicator so it'll tell you you know, if it's charging or if it's fully charged. And it is IP66 waterproof. So if you're out shooting in the rain or the snow, like I am a lot this time of year, no problems there. They also say that it is not affected by recoil. And I have tested that out, put about 100 rounds through the gun with this on it so far. And no issues whatsoever. Um, I will continue to test it. And if there are issues in the future, I will definitely make an update and let you guys know, but so far, so good. And the battery is fairly long lasting. It's a 900 mAh lithium battery and uh, seems to be working great. So let's show it on the gun. YouTube won't let me show mounting any kinds of accessories on firearms they consider that building. So uh, through the magic of cinema, so, through the magic of video editing, you see now it mounted on the top Picatinny rail of my firearm. Now, I did try to put, you know, a piece of uh, Picatinny on the M-Lock on either side. Tested it that way first, but I definitely found this to be the most ergonomic. And when we go back up top, I'll show you why. I obviously did have to move my front backup iron sight a little farther back because... For where I have my um, foregrip there, this is the best spot to put it. Also, I believe in mounting lights as far forward as possible. That way you don't get any shadow from the muzzle of your gun that's blocking part of your light throw. But as you see, it is very easy to mount. Um, very similar to the Streamlight pistol lights where this unscrews and then it's got a spring on it. So you push that spring and the other side of this comes out. Um, super easy to mount or to take off, so you can put it on or off anytime you want. Let's go up top real quick and take a look at it on the gun, and we'll talk about it there. So this AR9 needed a weapon-mounted light. It's my only AR platform that didn't have one at the moment. So I'm really stoked to uh, have one to try out on it. So far, it's working out great. Gun's running good too. So here we see it mounted to my AR9. It definitely has an interesting look to it. As you see, after putting about 100 rounds through it, the light still works great. And it is still very bright, even though it's covered in some soot from being right next to the muzzle brake here. But that's kind of part of my testing process. All of my other lights 
are mounted as far forward as possible. And that's for a couple reasons. Mainly, the big one is you don't want any shadow obscuring your actual light beam. And especially if I want to suppress this in the future, which I do, you're going to have, you know, a long muzzle device there anyway. And so you want it as far forward as possible, again, to minimize that shadow of your light beam. So I'm going to turn off the light that I have on my camera here. And then I'm going to show you guys how powerful this light is. Let's check it out. So as you can see there, it is a fairly good beam. And even with the two uh, light heads on it, it doesn't give you like two separate beams. They kind of go together to make one. So 400 lumens, it's a very decent light. I haven't really had a chance to test it out to, you know, the 140 meter beam that they talk about. Let's turn the light back on here. But, uh, but I believe it. I've, you know, tested it down my hallways and stuff. It is fairly bright. Larped around my living room, my house. Just, you know, I always test out lights, you know, turn off all the lights, run around the house, look through the optic, check out my dot within the light. And this one performs as good or better than many other lights that I've used. And again, it's held up to the recoil very well. AR9's direct blowback are pretty much known for having a very sharp, violent recoil impulse. Now, this AR9 specifically, because I have the muzzle brake on it, I don't feel like it recoils a whole lot, but it is definitely a sharper recoil impulse than something like an AR15 with a locking bolt mechanism, because there's nothing that locks in here. It's just straight blowback, just like your pistol. There's a big heavy spring in here, a heavy buffer. And so, you know, if something will take that recoil, it'll take most standard guns recoil. And they do, that is one of the claims that they make is that this gun will stand up to recoil. And so far it has proven that it does. So I am very happy with it. It's uh, I've got a promo code that I want to give you guys. The promo code is K7NVBFRE, all uppercase. I don't expect you to remember that. I will put it down in the description along with a link to the light. You can get it on Amazon, which I do also have an affiliate program with Amazon. So if you want to help the channel out, that is where you can buy this light. Like I said, it goes for around the same price as a Streamlight. You guys know how much I love Streamlight. I've got them on many of my platforms. They work fantastic. I will continue to do testing and evaluation with this light. And I'll let you guys know if it has any problems. But so far, so good. So I do hope that you guys have enjoyed this video. I, uh, I want to thank the US Amazon store for sending out the Brynite XP22 Scorpion Light. I, uh, I definitely appreciate it. This gun needed a light anyway, and this is a light that so far I've been able to trust, and it works great. So check it out on the Amazon store if you want to be interested in purchasing that. Use the promo code to get a discount, and uh, if you like this, drop me a like, share this video, leave me a comment if you have run this light before, or what kinds of lights you like to run on your AR platforms. I would love to hear about it. From Sawtooth Tactical, stay strapped or get clapped.